Hey everyone, it's Caitlin from Millie Big Plant. Thank you so much for joining me. So for this video, we are on our way to do some plant shopping. I wanna go check out Armstrong Gardens. I hope that they have some good plants and then maybe we're gonna check out Lowe's. Depends on what we find at Armstrong. I feel like it never hurts to just like keep checking and go see what they've got. Yeah, here we are. It's weird, there's no one here. We just drove up and we thought it might be closed because the parking lot is like completely empty. So we just had to go drive by the front and make sure it's open. So it's open and I guess we're gonna have the place to ourselves. So let's go check it out. Okay, here we are. Collector's corner. Organized by light, high light. My husband's already pointing out something just very weird. Elongated, I feel like. Oh. Right? You know why? Because this is a Cebu Blue Pothos. It's a Cebu. Not a It's got these uh, fenestrations in there on leaves. Yeah, this is the uh, Pippernum Orium. Baltic Blue, we actually don't have this one. Should we buy it? Okay, then this is a Riffidophora. That's a Riffidophora. My husband thought the other plant was one of these. Riffidophora Tetrasperma Mini Monstera. These actually look really good. How much is this? $35. All right, see we're going to leave that there. This is Raphidophora hayi. Shingling Raphidophora, also 35 ah, I feel like that's too much, but also I haven't been buying rare plants. Ooh, Ooh Xanthosoma. I think these are all 35 in this, these pots like this. Philodendron assorted. I think this is a pedatum or bipendifolium. Is this variegation? I don't think so. I think it's just sick. Are you sure? No. I don't know if that's variegation. Everything in here has spider mites, but I feel like I can't really criticize because all of my plants at home also have spider mites. Wow, look at how big the leaves are on this. Foxia, the Schefflera variegated. Different type of Schefflera. Diffenbachia. Diffenbachia Amy. Alocasia. Fifty dollars. What? Five zero. Five zero. That's too much. Go to the grocery store for that and get that for ten. But these look beautiful here. The bromeliads always look so beautiful in a big group. Oh. Leaf shine. Really, I have really mixed feelings about leaf shine. I, I think it's okay. It's kind of like makeup for plants, you know? Like I wear makeup, so. <laughs> even though it clogs my pores. I don't know. I feel like leaf shine is kind of the same deal, except for that you don't wash it off every night. <laughs> Snake plants in flower. Always love it. How much is that? $50. Wow, that's a lot. That is a lot. All right. Oh, that Birkin is nice looking. It's big and beautiful. Can you pull that out and see how much it costs? 25 25? That's pretty good. Bad, Do you guys yeah. remember when this would have been like $200? Looks pretty nice. Yeah. One of the better prices. Oh, right. Okay, so this section it says are for medium light. Yeah, the rubber trees with like a little bit of brighter light, but I think they can they can handle it. Oh, look at these big moss poles. Cool. How much are these? nine dollars it's not that's not too bad these are pretty tall yeah. 
that's cute. Mm -hmm. Let's fill it in from Brazil. And there's a fount flowering cyclone. Oh, wow. Black coral. Oh, this is that ficus allii. I really want one of these. Ficus what? Allii, I believe. I think these make a really, really beautiful plant inside. Hmm, I wonder how much that costs. I can see the tag. Oh, let's see. $1.99. Kind of a lot. This one's cute too. Is this so cute? I really like this tree. Okay, I'm on the lookout for one of these now. I feel like 200 is kind of a lot, but maybe for one this big, it's actually not that bad. I really like this. <laughs> Skeptical face. Okay, let's keep going. <laughs> Look at this really big tamanthi. It's like a calathea, I believe. Uh, Luberziana. I think I just made that up, but I just, sometimes when I can't remember the name, I have to just trust whatever spontaneously comes out of my mouth. And like more times than not, it's right. So I'm saying tamanthi uh, Luberziana for this one, but I <laughs> couldn't make that up. Okay, let's see. Money trees, little African violets, so pretty, all in a group together. Yeah, right? Seven dollars, that's kind of a lot. Oh, Sarcinia. These are the North American pitcher plant. They have like a digestive liquid that sits inside of their little tube and bugs fly inside and they digest them. $14.99. Price is marked. Does that mean this is a sale section? Oh, okay, I'm getting one of these. I killed mine a long time ago. I know, this looks a little bit sick. <laughs> you just called it mother of strawberries. Yeah, Saxifraga, Stolonifera, the strawberry begonia. Okay. The mother bird. I like that. Yeah. Kind of Do you want to pick one for me? Yeah, hey, look, ring one. of fire. Whoa, how much is it? $40. Hmm. Four zero. That is a lot. These yeah. have. These have hit tissue culture. These are gonna be out in stores in like Home Depot if they're not already. It's only a matter of time before these are widely available for like a totally normal price. So don't spend $40 on this plant. I mean, you can do whatever you want, but that would be my advice. I would choose this one. This one, because it has the stolen already? Yeah, exactly. And if not, then I would choose that one. Can you hold this? Oh wait, first of all, how much are these? Nine dollars. Okay, totally getting one. This one has a ton of plants in the pot. I, yeah, that would have been my choice if it had a stolen. The stolens grow pretty quick. Oh, are these melanochrysums? Oh my gosh. Yeah. Wow, 25, cute. That's really cool. Got some little Sansevieria's here. Calathea Musaica, I've never had one of these, but I love them. Okay, what is this? This is a Philodendron Golden Violin, 20. All right, these plants here are like not in the best shape, but I feel like if you're trying to collect some interesting ones, there's an interesting selection here. Oh, look. 
Who's Alocasia? Red, secret. I've given up on alocasias, you guys. It's so dry here, I can't really keep them anymore. But, ooh, this is, this is actually not too bad. 20, the last time I saw this plant, we were charging like, I think 120 for one this size in the little plant store I worked in. So that was like over a year ago. You think we should get this one? This yeah, one. I agree. It has more plants in the pot, right? I suckered by this This one stone. has, I think, just one plant. Yeah. This one has, like, a bunch of different rosettes in there. Yeah. And then I just noticed these little Peperomia polybotria, which, like, I had one a really long time ago that died a slow death. Does that look suspicious, that circle on that leaf? Hmm. Does this actually seem healthiest? Do I need this? No, I think if I'm gonna buy one of these, I should get one from like a, a carnivorous plant seller. Yes. These giant ficus elastica tenekis, which are huge. They've gotta be like, how tall do you think those are? Uh, Eight like feet, nine. nine feet? It's not quite a basketball hoop, but They're only $200. That's pretty good, I feel like. It's enormous. These are very impressive. Do we, do we want one of these in our house? Cute string of section. Ooh, Senecio macroglossus. I like this. I just have like a little cutting of it. 20, 20. This one's only 18. It's way more cool than that one. The variegated string of hearts with huge hearts. What do you mean? It's really variegated. Oh, I like that they have more in there. Oh, that's a sun stress kind oh, of thing. Okay. So yeah, my husband just said that he thinks this looks barely variegated, but it's because it's lacking a lot of pink because this hasn't been put in direct sun, but it's got like a lot of white coloration on there. So I think this looks pretty good. $30. Ooh, look at this uh, epiphyllum twisty one. I think they call this one like monstrose or something. Yeah, yeah. Claude Mullins, monstrose. This is beautiful. Huge leaves. And these marantas look really nice, actually. It's big marantas, how much were they? 25, oh, I feel like that's, that's a lot for a maranta like this. Let's see what else. Oh, Calathea rufa barba. I miss mine so much from my old house. I wish I had brought it, but it just was not looking good. This is only $20. I think I need to wait until the world around here is a little less spider mighty to buy any calatheas, but definitely want to get another Rufabarba someday. These have the fuzziest leaves. They're just so soft and fun to touch. And the red undersides are really beautiful too. Oh, Orbifolias. Uh, no, I've waited this long. I have to, I'm waiting until I find like a perfect one. Ooh, a big philodendron. Oh, the big chromatophyllums. These look like the xanadu. Yeah, the xanadu. Ah, I'm gonna try these. 60. Whoa, that's a lot for that. It's like a couple of times. Right? Yeah, I'd probably buy this from Home Depot. Clusia. No, Clusia trees look really nice. I really like the way the bushes look. I've just never owned one. I think they're pretty easy to care for, too. Ooh, this, this big uh, ficus altissima yellow gem. Look at how big its branch system is. I feel like it looks really nice. It's only 169. Oh, wait, I thought it was way bigger. I thought it was attached to that one. Okay. C. Ooh, cardboard palm. Zamia. Um, 
for a Feraceae, I think. This is a prehistoric plant. It has been unchanged genetically since like the dinosaurs. Pass, but or this one is so cute. Wouldn't this be cute for a living room? Yeah, it probably would. I, I feel like buying big plants here doesn't seem to make a ton of sense relative to like because of the markup, the markup, yeah. the like quality. We should big plants buy at Lowe's and Home Depot. <laughs> okay, should we go to Lowe's? Yeah, okay, let's get those in. Hedgelows. Yeah. Yay. The really big bike is Benjamin. It's chunky. It's big though. It's cute. Right. Just got my little like $12 worth of plants. I feel very excited about them. By the way, you guys, do you like my hair? I got my hair done for the first time in years. I'm so excited. Well, I mean, I'd been personally upkeeping my hair like, you won't even believe this. The purple hair that I used to have, like every time you've seen me before this video with purple hair, that purple is purple that I would wash in every single time I took a shower. So I was using temporary wash-in dye for the pink and the purple. Um, so this time I finally went and got um, like a permanent dye job done and I got this permanent purple dye. And you guys, it's crazy. It's, it's staining everything. Like I feel like I can't have any white clothes on or anything like that. My scalp is all stained. I don't know if you can tell, but hopefully now I can have some lasting purple that lasts a little bit longer than one wash. So yeah. By the way though, look at my nails. These are the same nails that I always paint. Like they have like a pastel pink to purple, but because of my hair and when I do this and when I wash my hair, it stained my nail polish this color. Um, <laughs> which I feel like looks cute. He's back, let's go. Two lows. I was just talking about my hair this whole time. Like, oh, I don't know who wants to hear about my hair. So it looks like this plant section has maybe gotten smaller because of all the Halloween stuff, <laughs> which tends to happen around this time of year. Okay. These are so unnecessary. Although this is something that you could probably just set and forget for like months and it might be able to maintain itself with a tiny bit of water in here like once every few weeks. But this is also a plant that Snake plants really don't need to be in enclosed spaces. Um, thankfully, they're not like super susceptible to fungal issues or like leaf disease. So this actually could be okay. Like snake plants, while it's kind of contrary and unnecessary, they might actually be a plant that lives pretty easily in a terrarium just because they don't need that much. Like the one thing you don't want to do is keep it wet inside of here. Like you don't want to keep it humid, you can keep it dry but I feel like something like this actually could last for like a really long time, even though it's kind of, it's pretty unnecessary. <laughs> Let's see, 1698. These different bakias look pretty good. I wouldn't want this to be more than like 15 bucks though. Oh, 15, exactly, okay. fiddle leaf. I don't know why I always like these so much. The baby fiddle leaf figs. I feel like they're so cute. $17. I thought this was an allocation mellow. I think it is. It is, babe. Really? Yeah, the texture. Oh, okay. SP. No, it's just dry. It's just extremely dry, which is how it would be in my house. So I guess we're not gonna get it. I really like these pots though. Whoa, I might have to buy this just for the pot. I wish there was a different plant in here. Mm, that's kind of a lot. 19. 
for a fillet engine cordatum and, I mean, heteracium, fillet engine heteracium in the pot. Okay, let's head back here and see what we've got. Cissus rhombifolia. This plant is a really, really great binding plant. I unfortunately think killed all of mine when I moved, but this is a really easy one to grow, huh? Those are heart leaf ferns. Oh, weird. Heart. <laughs> there are Halloween decorations over there, and it literally sounds like somebody is getting super hurt. Should I get one of these? Alright, this is how I decide which one I'm gonna get. I just shamelessly take them all out and take spread out in the store. As a former plant shop employee, I'm giving you permission to do this. This is like you're about to spend money on a plant, you're allowed to take them all out and compare them even if it gets a little dirt around. Okay, which one should I get? Okay, this one looks pretty full to me. It's got someone else's flower. Um, or this one. This was the first one I pulled. This is maybe the best looking one, right? Yeah, it is. It's like got the most going on. This one has a lot of new growth. This one also has some new growth in there. Okay, this one or this one versus this one, which doesn't have quite as many stems. Oh, but there's a bunch of new leaves popping out. Okay, we're gonna go for this one. That's the first one I went for, so. Yeah. Nice. Wow, what baby pineapple plants. These are only $20. That's pretty good for a pineapple plant. All right, little ponytail palms. $16.98. Oh, that's an okay price. These one of my least favorite houseplants for some reason, but they definitely are striking. I feel like they're like having a moment in fashion this year. Yeah. Everything has got this red anthurium flower in it, and I'm not the biggest fan, to be honest. I feel like they should they should pick a cooler flower. Bromeliads, <laughs> ficus elasticas, rubber trees. $26.98. That's, that's an okay price. These have pretty thick stems. This is the Altissima Yellow Gem and this is the Ficus Audrey. Hopefully you can't hear this screaming because I'm wearing an earpiece, but if you can hear someone screaming like they are having a really hard time, it's the Halloween decorations. Okay, so here we are in the clearance section. This is how the clearance pricing works. I feel like Lowe's clearance is not like a great deal. Okay, actually these look pretty healthy. Like these are all big plants to be marked down. That's only 15? Yeah. After this one. That's a pretty good deal. Look at how big these leaves are. It looks like decently healthy too. I feel like that's okay. Mr. Cena, let's see, also 15. These, these just look like they've been starved of light for a long time. So if you gave them some light, I think they'd pop back. Okay. This is pretty. 25. Is this a ficus? Look at how small it is. It's so funny to see it looking like that. It looks so cute, actually. I kind of like it. I mean, it's dusty, but like, it's a really different vibe for a ficus. <laughs> Are 
they spray paint them. Twins! <laughs> okay, so all of these mini cacti and succulents are only $6, $5.98. And I love it when they package them with a the handle because that makes it so much more user friendly. I love seeing a huge collection of cacti all together on a table. It just like looks so aesthetic. I feel like this is a pretty good selection for $5. Some of them are four. Some of them are four. Oh yeah, these little ones. Oh, look at how cute. $2.50. Yay, look at it, it's so cute. I need one of those. So. Oh, look. Wow, so chonky. Super chonky. Do I need this? It's pretty funny. This is so cute. It's easy plants for $40. This section is usually like 40. Protons, everyone's favorite. <laughs> oh, wow, look at these big um, lichens. 35? That's pretty good. Oh, wait, these are only 20. These are 30 bucks. I said they were 40, but they're actually only 30. That's only $22, the Croton. So that's a pretty good fruit. Then these Calathea Peacock, the Macoyana. They look good. Let's see. $29.98. Those are huge. Those look very nice, actually. Yay! So cute. And I got the receipt this time. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for telling me that you can return things with a receipt. I literally had no clue. Yeah, I always worked in boutique plant shops where the prices were like a lot, like a lot more than a big box store like Lowe's or Home Depot. And all the stores that I worked in, the return policy was like, pretty much like we didn't have one, like we wouldn't accept returns or like, there was like some flexibility. So like all the places I worked at, I worked by myself pretty much. And so like we had authorization to like sometimes issue a return if we absolutely had to, but it was like not something that was the policy. Like if you come back within a certain time, we'll give you a return. There had to be like a good reason for it. So I usually felt bad. Like I would tell customers like what days I worked and if they had a problem, they could come back when I was working and I could help them with the return. But all the boutique plant shops I worked in had pretty much a no return policy. So I was so shocked to hear from you guys that you can return plants to Lowe's and Home Depot because it just seems like since their prices are so good, they wouldn't allow returns especially since the places where I worked where the prices were so much higher didn't allow returns, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, I guess that's how it works. And hopefully I don't kill off this little guy and it was only $7, but yeah, thank you so much for telling me about the return thing and keeping receipts because I usually just wouldn't ever keep them when I went plant shopping because I never knew you could return plants, so. <laughs> we are stopping at the grocery store for a second. We're gonna run in and see what the plant situation is. The grocery store was a bust. There wasn't anything awesome that I liked in there, but we do have these other plants that I just got today. I'm so excited to bring them home. So yeah, thank you so much for coming with me shopping. This has been a fun trip. I really didn't think that I was gonna get anything on this, this little excursion today. So I'm really excited to have found some reasonably priced little guys that I really, really like. So hopefully I can keep this one alive. I would love to hear from you on what some of the new plants are you've gotten recently. I'm so excited to have this. Yeah. 
so cute. So this is a Peperomia polybotria. And then this is a Saxifraga stolonifera variegata, a strawberry begonia variegated one. So cute. My heart burn. I feel like this is an awesome haul, plus randomly milk. <laughs> okay. I feel like this is a cute little group. This was $7. This was $3. Yeah, so this was like less than... 20 for all of this. I feel like that's a pretty good, pretty good haul. Yay, I'm so excited. Yeah, I really hope that you enjoyed watching this video and thank you so much for watching and I hope that your plants are bringing you joy and I hope to catch you in the next one. Bye.